All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments Part 5. And today is finally the day Menkare becomes a man. At least by this uh, game standards. At 16, Menkare will officially be a man. Um, like Meow said, I should start swinging the scales as soon as possible and making sure that I can get this man off the off of our case. Um, hopefully because he's selfless, he'll be willing to just relinquish that power. But we all know Onimor is leading a cult he doesn't even believe in for power. So, you know, maybe not. We'll have to see. On that note, thank you so much, Okama Pope, The Fool, Lore Master, Meow, Emra Bullet, and Billy Chops for your comments. I really appreciate it. I read every single one, of course. And we had some really good ideas here. We got some name suggestions. Um... We had... It was great seeing that Anamore got messed up. Uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoy that the fact that Menkare is arrogant and all that. That's really good to see. I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> some people are suggesting that I kidnap a Muslim woman who's impressive so I can force her to marry us. Maybe. I shouldn't say maybe, but maybe. If that's what it comes to, a pharaoh will take what is what he's due. Um... Yeah, we're an anime. We're, uh, yeah. I, I think we've seen the personality traits of Menkara here. There's nothing wrong with him. Uh, but it, it, this does not spell a good man. Uh, morally, of course. This is you, and you are magnificent. <laughs> that's such a fitting description for Menkare. Oh, that's so good. We can ransom Eddie, that's right. For 10 gold, huh? Yeah, I'd do that. We need to get to 250 gold. So let's do that. He is getting influential. I didn't want to spend piety on this, but I think we're going to have to. Um, I think we're going to have to spend it. Yeah, because he's selfless right now, but... If I, if I leverage it twice... That would get it down to 34. I don't know if we can imprison him yet. Not yet. Request panegyric. Dedicate you to you a rhetoric work? Gift painting? I don't know what any of that is. We can expose that he's not a believer and burn him at the stake once we become an adult and we get rid of him being our regent and stuff like that. I really like that idea. It's a great idea. We're of course going to go raid this. I'm going to stop gathering. Yeah, 920 can't... They can't stop this. 920 right here. You guys can keep raising over here, but these 920 are going to go. Kareem is at 33, Marshall. I mean, this guy is popping off across the board. Bravo to him. Court of Fan, yeah, understandable. The Convert Faith done again. He may not believe, but he is damn good at making others believe, isn't he? That's what made him a cult leader in the first place. Hey, this is Ominous. Well done, Koo. He went ahead and got them swayed over already. Well done, well done. I just don't want to give Ku these other two counties if I don't have to before we're a kingdom. I don't want him to become a duke and then earn his independence by reaching the same tier that we're at. So I'm trying to hold on to those territories as long as I can. I know this is only going to be 15 gold, so that's still not going to get us to the 250 we need either, but it's definitely going to help. Unless we get a juicy ransom, of course. But Menkare's gonna get his education finished today, too. Pretty hype. Zegan joined our court. 15 prowess champion, not bad. Alright, he's doing a lot. The scales have swayed five more. He's, he's 1.75 away from level four. Nah, I'm gonna start swinging the scales. Let's leverage that piety. I'm the son of Amun-Ra. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, there's a two-year cooldown on it? I did not know that. See, we're learning new things. I had no idea there's a two-year cooldown on it. Mm. That presents other issues. We'll be an adult before we can mess with that again. But at least we've set him back a bit. Damn. That is concerning. How much loot? 19... A hundred people for the for the sake of the kingdom. I'm just gonna disband this one. 
Because if we go here, it's going to cost us 100 lives. But it would get us 19 gold and 19 prestige, enough to make the kingdom. Ugh. And I was thinking that maybe we call the kingdom the Land of the Sun. Um, as a tribute to Ra or whatever. I don't want to shed... But I don't want to, like, make this less impressive by calling this the Land of the Sun. You know what I mean? The Nile River is the true land, so... Yeah. I We might just call it the Kingdom of Amun-Ra's Refuge. I'm not sure. That's gonna be 100 lives. Ugh. Battling our way in there was pricey. But that's gonna get us the rest of what we need. Thank you for your noble sacrifices, everybody. Extremely noble that you went through with that willingly. Now let's pull them out. We got the loot. Uh, we can't go there, can we? No, we can't. Okay, we got the loot. Let's get out. They're bringing 34 gold and prestige home. And hopefully that also gives us a huge legitimacy boost. Creating a kingdom? Yeah, 50. It's not huge, but it would get us up to... Um, Recognized, Yeah, the level 2 version of it. The default version of it. Okay. Maybe I'll call it Amun-Ra's Refuge, just the, at the kingdom level. Um, until you guys give me a suggestion for an idea. What is this? Art school. Why is it on that side now? Did they, up, did they update it? Did the mod get updated and now it's somewhere else? That was weird. But okay, sure. There it is. 250 gold. Say less. It's time. And so, actually, you are so you, I believe, made a comment saying that he hopes that he can see it, a kingdom underneath Menkare by the time he... by in his lifetime. Oh, it's gonna happen in his lifetime. It's gonna happen right now. 250 gold, 400 prestige, and 50 legitimacy. Create the kingdom of Darfur. Create. You now have a royal court. As king, you have new duties and responsibilities. We'll be pharaoh soon. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. You are now a mighty king. Mogjean is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Terramon. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Let them see their new king. Oh, yeah! Let's go! The Terramon Dynasty banner. Some prestige and some renown a month. Not bad. Oh, sick! It's a start. It's definitely a start. I can vibe with this for now. So there's the house banner right there on the back. Oh, that looks good! And then the dynasty banner right there. Oh my god. This actually looks so sick! Man, we were we are really anti-shirt in this place, aren't we? And there's Yehudit, yep. Oh yeah, that looks so good! I wish I could zoom in on this! There we go, Court Grandeur zooms us in. Oh, <laughs> look at this 14 year old! Oh my god, his sun, his eyes do kind of glow just a little bit, don't they? Off of the reflection of the fire or something like that? Oh yeah, the son of Amun-Ra. Look how proud he looks too. He looks damn proud to be in charge. That's so sick. Court Granger level 3 is where we start. Um, raid speed plus 20%. Why? Interesting. Oh, because it's a tribal court. Duh. Level 1 gives us 5% night effectiveness. I actually don't think I've ever had a tribal court, so this is all new to me. Level 3 gives us raid speed and army loot capacity, so we are raiding for sure. Um, level 5 is dread gain. Level 7 is vassal opinion up. Men at arms maintenance at 10. And courtiers and guests get a prowess every year that they're here, up to 3 years. At court, might makes right. And the hall shall be decked with loot and plunder. Courtiers gain the warlike courtier traits. Marshal and prowess. Okay. Court types for the spiritual ethos. Yeah, this is our ethos, so that's what we have to vibe with. I think it's just because we're tribal. I'll take it. I don't know how easy we're going to be able to stay here. Look how expensive that is. No shot. If I bought everything, we'd still be under three grandeur. Oh, no. 
who are just starting our kingdom. We have less last century fashion, bland food, very few servants, and minute lodgings, but that's all temporary. All right, don't you worry about it. We're gonna get there. There it is. I'm a child. I can't hold court yet, but that's not for very long. And now we can handle five counties at a time, so I only have to give Ku one of these, actually. Because King gives us plus three. Stewardship plus two. I don't think we're going to get the stewardship to the point where we can handle three extra. I think that's 18, the way things have been going. That's five more stewardship. That's a lot. That's a huge ask. Let's give him South Kordofan. Ku is one of our top guys, for sure. I'm all about Hatia Ku. This, this man is... The fact that he was willing to convert, and he's that talented, he might have a bigger stat total than us. I know we're not an adult yet, but 31, 46, 58, 69, 79. 20, 33, 46, 69, 75. Yeah, Ku has four more stats than we do. It's close, but he does have four more than us right now. Pretty nuts. There it is. The kingdom... Of Amun Ra's refuge. Again, Ammonite. And we'll go with that for now. Boy, that is that is not it, is it? This design. Uh tell you what, I'll copy to clipboard our wait, I hold up, I can do that right now, can I? Hold up, stop. If I go here, here, copy to clipboard, can't I just Paste it here. I'm not saying we're going to keep it, but it's going to be way more fitting than what we have right now. Yeah, finish that. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. The Nile River is coming soon, everybody. It's coming soon. Oh, my God. I did not check at all what time it was before I started recording. Let's say I've been recording for 10 minutes. I'm going to guess that. Okay. Now I know what time it is. Okay. Hit play again. Yeah, getting betrothed is going to be difficult when nobody believes in our faith. Wait! Now that we're a king, some Kushitic people are starting to consider. Fekin's not bad, but she's 34. Let's go to some of all skills. No one yet, but it is... There are people of other faiths now that are willing to give it a shot just because we're a king. Yeah, marrying up is now plus 120. They're able to go like, yeah... <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't like him, but to become a queen of a nation? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, and we only have two vassals. Kareem and Ku are all we need. That's literally everything we need right there. Easy. Elodia's still hanging in there. Uh, Makuria might not be able to stop us. Oh my god, they can't stop us at all. We could totally raid Makuria right now. We could absolutely raid Makuria right now. An event. Murder holes and priest holes. A pallid individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. From a 74-year-old Therakis, the torturer. Oh my god, she's sadistic, cynical, and arrogant. Yikes. I shall enter and leave rooms only by the front door, wench. We would spend six court grandeur but gain 75 prestige. A series of spying holes where my courtiers gather, please. Scheme discovery chances up, plus 10 grandeur. Our, our courtier... Okay, so actually, over the 14 years we've been here, we're really swaying both the people and um, our council and stuff like that. Like, people don't hate us anymore. The, our, I mean, everybody around us does, but people within our, within our group don't hate us anymore. Hesitant to call it a kingdom, but I suppose we can call it a kingdom, since it legally is. Secret escape passage. No, I'm not spending all that money, so I guess I'll enter and leave the rooms only by the front door, a wench. I didn't need to call her a wench, but <laughs> I guess I did. We're getting close to illustrious. We're also getting close to devoted servant. We're going to be leveling up those two things pretty soon, actually. Okay. Let's raid Makuria. They can't stop us. We'll take everything we want. Oh my god, it's going to be juicy. Raise the local raiders. Kareem, this is our last raid before Minkare takes charge himself. Make it count. They lost their war. What did they lose? The county of Ablob. 
Oh my god, Elodia grows again. Oh my god. Elodia is becoming a nightmare. An actual nightmare. Oh my god, that gave them more of Nubia too. Hold up. They might have the money. 12 counties? Oh no. How many counties do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just 10? Oh, just 10. These are these are 12, but they don't count for Elodia. Whoo! If they had they have the gold, if they had 12 counties to make a kingdom, this wouldn't split apart anymore, and then we'd really have issues. We need him to die before they get two more counties together. That needs to happen. Honor was swayed by our efforts again. We love it. That'll make him selfless. Oh yeah. Um hey! Ak is on our side now for region succession. We love it. Dang, Mogjin is still slightly against us, and Ku is slightly against us. That's kind of a heartbreaker, to be honest. They're all selfless, except for Ak is um, self-interested, and Kareem is shockingly situational, but... Oh, yeah. Alright. His culture is why he's situational. Let's get in there. Take what we want when we please. 16 there as well? Oh, heck yeah. I just hope we can move around a bit without having to take constant damage from moving places. Yeah, like that. Okay, that one we can move to. This one we can move to. That one we can't. Okay, so I can hit these three places, no problem. Works for me. There's Makuria right there. That's their whole troop. They're on route. They've been routed. We captured Countess Irene's brother, Akisu. Yeah, you can have him back for 10 gold, absolutely. Enjoy your ransom. And these soldiers are literally in the Nile River. They can't enjoy it like they should be able to. That should be our land, but they got to, they get it, they're getting to see it. They can this this troop right here on the way to their destinations can drink of its waters. Probably take a bath in it. Praise Amun-Ra. Oh my god. Congrats to them. That's got to feel so good. This is just a taste of what's to come. Soon we'll be able to live on it. Just hit these raids up and we'll be set. Layla died in the dungeons. Rip Layla. Wagane. Uh, it's because it costs us prestige to execute right now. That's why. Yep. He's going to stay there. Should have started swinging the scales earlier if I'd have known about the cooldown. That's my bad. Thought it was something I could do as I pleased. Yeah, we can't go here. So we'll go here. The capital might be worth hitting, to be honest. Um, because we could hit all three of these for 100 casualties. And that's heartless again, but I think Menkare would do that. Alright, 15, what'd we get? We got a prowess, we got a diplomacy, we got a stewardship, we got an intrigue. Okay, we got four on We got everything except for martial and learning. Alright. Everything except martial and learning on that one. It's good age up. I can't wait to see his education just take off. I want to see what he's capable of. Don't let me down on the education, please. We had a mastermind philosopher teaching us. We had a court tutor who's excellent aptitude because he's intelligent. And we have Menkare himself is a genius. He surely got a good education. No way he didn't get a good education. A three-star education is the minimum I'll accept. I'd want a 4-star for sure, but a 3-star I'd take begrudgingly. Anything less than 3 stars, I'll be a little upset. Previously leaderless, the Kyarwe Bompo Elders have made Nguare their new Menri Trison. I do not know that one. An unreformed Tibetan faith, that's news to me. That's all the way over here too, that's probably why I don't know it. This is probably the area of the world I know the least. I know a little bit about here. I know a little bit about here. I know a little bit about here. Well, actually, I know I, I know a decent bit here. I know a little bit about here. And then there's this gap right here. 
or I ha I would have no clue what's happening here. If you're from here, I'm sorry, no no offense, I just have no idea what happened here in history. Absolutely no clue. If someone wants to give me a three second rundown, that would greatly increase my knowledge in that area. Alright, here we go. Let's hit Mercuria's capital while they're still extremely weak. Um, are they in debt? They're not in debt. Okay. Wow! He's illegitimate! They hate this man! They said he is not worthy! My legitimacy went to 242 out of 1400? God dang, it gets harder and harder to be legitimate the higher you get, doesn't it? Just when you think we're gonna be at recognized, the, the, the bar gets raised. Awesome. Well, we'll keep working on it. Alright, Kareem. Make sure you're leading this. Yep. Lead them to victory. We're down a champion, but lead them to victory. Plus eight advantage going in. They have Holy Warrior. We're actually losing more men than them, despite more than doubling their men. So that's obviously a problem, but we outnumber them so much, it's... We got this. And we didn't even lose a champion, which happens to us a lot, begrudgingly. There it is. Level of devotion increased. We are now a devoted servant of Amun-Ra. Soon we'll be a paragon of virtue, and that's going to make a lot of sense. We're actually making a lot of piety right now. We're going to be illustrious soon. Hell yeah. 152 to 447, the slaughter at Dongola. I don't know. That seems more like a battle than a slaughter to me. It's one-sided, sure, but 152 to 447 is definitely, definitely more of a real battle than a lot of them we've seen. Time to hit that capital, though, for the goods. They are just on route everywhere. Mercuria cannot get a break. They're being besieged on all sides. Oh, court grants are increased to two. Yeah. Our court's not very grand, if I'm being honest. I get it. I, I, I understand. Not yet, at least. Soon there will be a whole pharaoh's worth of royal court. Just you wait. Maybe we'll get an artifact from this raid right here. Who knows, Bakuria might have some good stuff. Captured Petty King Zacharias' bishop and his son, Samson. He won't take the bishop, but his son, I bet he'd ransom. 12 out of 25, what's your income like? He's losing money, this is the most I'll get out of it. Alright, I accept. I'll take your 12 gold, your pitiful gold. Alright, we can hit these two, and then we'll have to head back. And that'll be our little excursion out for a good, nice raid. And it cost us about 300 people, which is an insane loss, because that's like half of our military when this all began, but it's going to bring back so many resources. Okay. Got a slow moment here. Raid. One more raid. This is going to bring back 16 more. Oh, heck yeah. How much are we carrying? Oh, we're going to be bringing 101 gold and prestige back. Over 100 gold and prestige, technically. We love it. Bringing back some wealth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, he is a recognized ruler, so his kid won't have so many problems. She's 42 already, though. Wow. Okay. It's August. It's about that time. 102 gold and 102 prestige. That's great. Bring it back. It'll take a little over a month. And then we'll be set to go. Mankari is starting to look pretty regal. Let me just say. He can't grow facial hair until 18 in this game. Don't ask me why. But at 18, we'll start looking at hairstyles and facial hair to see if you guys prefer something else. And here it is. They're bringing back the goods. Is this going to be enough for Illustrious? Ooh, just shy, I bet. We're maybe, what, 50 to 100 off? 105 off. So close. Alright, disband. Regain the military a bit here. Yeah, regain the military a bit here. We have over 1,000 prestige to spend when we need it. Scales of power should be at 50 flat, right? Yeah, which is not good. Because... One swing of ten, and he'd be at scales of power four. Which is scary. Wow, this Kareem is so on our side. 
Look at that. The royal court increases our odds? Interesting, for some of them. Okay, Minkare. God, I'm really praying for a good education here. Please. He's so Anamore is at plus 100. Nice. We can start working on somebody else. Aku is at 69. Kareem's at 59. Uh, my court tutor, who will probably be the next person to get counties from me, to be honest. And they'll have promising kids if they can have kids before they run out of time. Might want to get on that, guys. Maybe I want to sway him. Yeah, and then we can ask for a conversion after that. Absolutely. She's already ominous. That's good. Okay. Only a few months out now. This is the big time. How's the Tullinids doing? They're doing very well. The Abbasids are about to lose to who? An independence war. <gasps> They're going to lose ground. They're going to lose a bunch of territory. Oh, you done messed up, guys. How many counties do they have now? 128? That might make them the biggest on the map. 128. Oh my god, I forgot to go check on the world at the beginning of the episode. Look what's happened here. King Louis lost Burgundy, but then West Francia took Burgundy, but then Burgundy separated itself? And East Francia and Bavaria are now two different places? This place is in turmoil. Lotharingia is down all the way over here. The papacy is... Pope Nicholas II is also in the nude. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Bulgaria, Hungary, Kazaria. West Francia probably has a lot. 92, yeah. Sweden is crushing it! I think in our playthrough, the Vikings are going to succeed. Don't be surprised if the Vikings overtake Christianity up here. That's crazy. Yet. I'm a teacher. I, I hear too much of the lingo for my kids. Uh, Norse, Norse, Sphere. What is Sphere? That's interesting. Asatru is making moves. And if Sweden can get this one, that's enough to organize the faith. Because they already have two of the locations. Oh, man. They just need to get Prondheimer away. Wow. Things are actually going crazy up there. All Andalus is, is no holds barred. They're going nuts. But they're losing to a vassal of West Francia. Uh-oh. They might have overstretched their bounds. And Canem is gigantic? This, this was not here. I mean, Canem was here, but... 15 counties? What happened here? He can 100% make the Kingdom of Canem once he gets the money together. We're going to have a big kingdom of Canem to the west of us. Huh. Yeah, the world has changed a bit. And Kyrgyz Khan it absolutely fell apart. Wow. Yeah, the, the world is changing quickly, isn't it? The game's only 15 years in. It's already changed that much. Apparently a lot can happen in 15 years' time. Create an accolade. You're below your maximum number of accolades and one of your knights can be appointed as an acclaimed knight. What? You can now grant an accolade to one of your knights. Each knight that holds an accolade becomes an acclaimed knight and gives bonuses to you and your armies. Really? Okay. To be an acclaimed knight, a knight must be unlanded or a baron with at least eight or more prowess. So they can't be... Okay, got it. They can't be Kareem or Ku because they are landed. An acclaimed knight must be eligible for two accolade attributes. Neither can already belong to another one of their liege's acclaimed knights. I'm still trying to understand what that is. Is this a mod or is this part of the game? I love that. Um, uh, select an unassigned accolade. Okay. When you create an accolade, you choose one of your valid knights in the list. I mean, Auk is a unit. 25? And I'm not going to give it to... Bulgjirg, because he's just here to die for us. Um, on the battlefield, rather than on a stake. And Mogjin is probably going to get landed at some point. So, Ak is a great option. I can't give her land anyway, because she's a woman. Let me select Ak. Okay. 
Every acclaimed knight has two accolade attributes, highlighted one primary and one secondary. Before you create the accolade, these, attrib these attributes are shown for each candidate. Each attribute gives you and your armies various bonuses as the accolade gains glory. Glory is gained by participating in grand tournament contests and battles. Host a magnificent set of martial or cultural contests, attracting contenders from near and far to compete in Hastaludes for prizes and prestige. Okay. The primary attribute is always part of the accolade and cannot be changed on accolade succession. So this is probably a part of tours and tournaments. Right now it's Blade Master. You and your primary area may gain the aspiring Blade Master trait every few years, slightly increased chance of death in battle for knights fighting the acclaimed knight. Okay. Could also do Tactician for more lifestyle experience, Fanatic for more vassal opinion, Travel Safety or Scout. Oh, that's an easy choice. Blade Master for sure, yeah. And then Contender? Hostile Looter Trade Experience gain. I don't know what that is. Gains 10 hostile looter experience from Grand Tournament attendee Attendance. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Change the secondary accolade attribute to... Oh, it's a liege modifier. It increases my monthly lifestyle experience. Wait, it gives me aspiring Blade Master trait every few years, possibly? Really? And it gives Liege Modifier Knight Effectiveness 80% at rank 6. What? Yeah, let's try that. But I don't need Contender. I, I want to have, like, Tactician or Fanatic, Stalwart, Scoundrel. Maybe I do take Contender, I don't know. I am going to attend grand tournaments. That would be fun. We get monthly prestige per night. Yeah, sure. We'll try this. I'm not going to change anything. Let's just create an accolade for 150 prestige. Your champion's accolade attributes will begin pro providing you positive effects, which increase as they gain glory. Sure. First in feats of war. Um, She has the highest prowess of anybody, right? Even Kareem can't quite match her. Because I don't want to say first in feats of war, but... Feats of strength. Um, strongest woman. What are we going to call this? Um, she's the, not just the strongest woman. She's the strongest there is. Amun Ra's strongest. Strongest Servant of the Sun. The SSS Award. The Strongest Servant of the Sun. Yeah, create the accolade. Bestowing this honorific will increase the acclaimed knight's opinion of you. Cost 150. So create the accolade. Okay, got it. So, you can now grant an accolade to one of your knights. Each knight that holds an accolade becomes an acclaimed knight and gives bonuses, blah, blah, blah. We just did that. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know. I know. We literally just did that. Are you saying I can do it again? What are you trying to tell me? Uh, I've already done this. Okay. Anyway, to this. Okay, acclaimed champion. So, we have aspiring blade master trait experience. Me and my primary heir may get aspiring blade master traits every few years. And then knights fighting our acclaimed knight have a slightly increased chance of dying. Became the acclaimed knight on 18th of, of November, 882. 25 prowess. That is cool! Successor requirements. Serves a knight held highest titles. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Call for an, a worthy accolade successor? A knight who fulfills this accolade's requirements will join your court within six months. That's interesting, and we have the prestige to try it. I'll try it. I have the prestige to try. Let's try. Um, if we don't like it, we just won't do it again. Seek worthy accolade successor. That is so cool. Tours and tournaments bringing out some stuff for us. I like this. That it lets us sort through our knights easier. But I, I already know... I already like it going from most prowess to least prowess. That's easy for me to keep track of. Okay. Yeah, I know it needs a worthy successor. I'm working on it. And that's not what it's called, right? 
Oh, I didn't hit enter? Okay, hold up. Strongest servant of the sun. I must not have hit enter. There we go. Strongest servant of the sun needs a worthy successor. There we go. Perfect. At least strongest in combat. One-on-one -on -one combat. In feats of strength. Here we go. One month until Minkare becomes an adult and we are magnificent. Give us that good education. Come on, baby. Cross your fingers. Just like that. Come on. Oh, please. <laughs> if we needed good luck, this is where we need it, I guess. We should have done everything right. Like, cliffhanger, end of episode. Just kidding. Um, yeah, we have plenty of time. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just so nervous. What education we get is going to determine a lot. All right. Okay, come on, Menkare. You got this. You are a genius. You have this. We are to the new culture head. Hell yeah. With the help of Anamora, I achieved an understanding of scholarship that far exceeds that of any of my peers. Even though I had a natural inclination towards the subject, my mastery of it is still an achievement. Thinking back on my childhood, I realized I never truly connected with anyone. Even as I saw others playing with friends or whispering about love, I never experienced such things myself. I'm certain the coming years will lead to new friends and new opportunities. King Menkare, you're a man now. Mastermind philosopher. Hell yes. We are no longer his ward. We got plus eight learning, 20% fa cultural fascination progress, and 40% learning lifestyle experience. I guess we had to be an adult to be a cultural head, interestingly enough. Menkare possesses an uncanny insight into all subjects of higher learning. Damn straight. Thank goodness we got that good stuff. We could change our aesthetic tradition. Um, the Ammonite school has long followed the African traditions the way that the language of the arts is not one. Uh, that's fine right now. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't see a, a reason to change that at the moment. What? Can, can you go away? We're not married. I know that. Erect a statue? You, you adhere to the aesthetic tradition of a neighboring ruler. You gain 150 prestige and 100 legitimacy. You increase your legitimacy level to recognize and chiefdom of Einfrog gains magnificent statue of us? Of yourself? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> uh, a religious subject or yourself? You choose yourself and your great deeds as the subject of the commission. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. That gains us piety. That gains us prestige. Oh my god. It has to be of us, right? <laughs> that is so funny. And that would get us to a recognized ruler as well. Of all the ways to do it. What is this headpiece? Uh, headwear. No headwear. For now. We'll figure that out soon. Here he is, 16 years of age. Activity available, grand tournament, host a magnificent set of martial or cultural contests, attracting contenders from near and far. We will do that soon. You can end your entrenched regency. He won't accept. Offer favor, offer piety, offer gold. For 75 gold, he would accept 100%. He'd wipe his hands clean of it. But he is greatly in debt, so gold is very effective for him. Of course piety wouldn't do the job. Of course. 75 gold to get rid of his regency forever? I'd say that's fair. I don't want to do it, but fair enough. If that's all it takes to, like, make this happen... I don't know the cooldown. I would try this first. But if it fails and then I have this long cooldown... That would be a real problem for me. So let's go for this. 75 gold. Wipe our hands clean of it. And then I might have some plans for High Shaman Anamor. Might have some plans indeed. The only thing questioning it is that he's got 20 learning and he's very good at what he does. How much time should that buy him, ladies and gentlemen? How much time should that buy him? Nobody else can do his job well at the moment.
Damn. I'm... <laughs> I hate spending. Have I said that before? But 75 gold, he's done. Entrenched Regency over. Autumn I release you of service of Regency. Thank you for all that you did. No thank you for a ton of things you did. Okay, if I decline... Oh. It would go 20 towards me? And... I would lose 30 opinion of him if he declined this offer. Interesting, interesting. I'll just give him the gold. Discharge and trust entrenched regent. You're done. I need more champions. <laughs> Erect a statue of yourself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna become a recognized ruler. That is so funny. Beautiful! <laughs> Uh, this is by now finesse the statuary aspect of cult of sculpture. I can commission them a most beautiful example, but what should the subject be? <laughs> beautiful. Erect a statue will be unavailable for 30 years. That's fine. Beautiful. Do it. Do it. Ay, ay, ay. A scholarly character joins your court. Character is hired as your new chief artist. Position, caravan master, scrape the barrel for lowborn. Order mass eviction. Every guest leaves your court. Yikes. Develop the capital I could do, but I'm not too worried about this capital specifically, to be honest. Let's invite some champions. Send the Herald. We have the prestige to spend. Prestige is the one thing I'm okay spending. God, I really want to do that, but right now? For three... Ah, oh, we don't have the money. I mean, <laughs> that's, out of, that's out of our hands. Let's hold court. Anamore, put some clothes on. That's right, I stole those clothes, didn't I? Alright, hold court. <laughs> you'll increase your court grandeur. You'll increase your legitimacy. Really? That's actually really useful. You invite your guests and subjects to petition you for assistance. Did we get that legitimacy right away, by the way? We did. The statue was constructed. And now we are a recognized ruler, which is not nearly good enough for a kingdom, apparently. We need to be a true ruler. Even rightful is not good enough. Damn. Being a king is tough. We need 480 just to get to rightful. Alright. Well, we need more legitimacy, and I always hold court anyway, if you've seen our playthroughs before. So let's hold court. For the first time, the day after his 16th birthday, the first time Menkare is able to hold court as a true ruler. No regent or anything. It's just him. Because the regent's about to be gone. Let's wait for the regent to be gone, just in case he messes with things. Your glory is widely known. We are illustrious. Upon Basically upon our 16th birthday of becoming a man, we're already illustrious. We do need to choose our lifestyle, don't we? Okay, let me let me take a look at this. What did I just... You lost the trait cur curious. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh no, we're down to 29 learning. Oh, devastating. Okay. So... Development growth is good. Piety is good. Health is good. But I feel like all of these things are better later. Then again, I don't think there's any saving our marshal, is there? Plus five advantage when we only have, what, what is it, nine? Okay, that'd be 14 advantage if we went marshal. We would also get our prowess up to 10. With this, it would be 14. That's not a lot, guys. I want to be honest. We will get Blade Master down the line, so maybe that'll fix some things, but... I guess it's best for us to go learning. We don't need to go Intrigue. Stewardship has some good stuff, but we don't need to. Diplomacy has some great stuff. Oh man, that even gives us plus 5% legitimacy gain. Oh my god. Diplomacy for level of fame, level of fame. Impact goes up. August is obviously good. Oh my god, look at that. Maybe we go August. And get another Prestige a month, along with some Diplomacy. There's a lot we can do with Prestige right now. It's how we raise our armies. It's how we declare our wars. It's how we do a lot of things. I just think we can get this later. We get 40% from our learning education, 30% from being a genius, and 20% from our cultural education. We basically get these traits at double speed, almost. 
So once I'm ready to go to learning, we can really power through learning lifestyle. But I think we might go for August first, just because it's such a good, like, line of traits when prestige is powerful. Like, this is a crazy strong prestige trait. Offer vassalization doesn't hurt. This commission epic decision gives, like, renown for the whole family. Monthly prestige per knight and per powerful vassal on the council. The dread could happen eventually, for sure. Sway scheme power up. Ah. Uh, man, that is actually really tough to choose. Is there something else I can do while I'm deciding on that? I'm not changing our aesthetic. Can I get rid of this? Eastern. We're, we're already African. We don't need to change it. Right click. You're not married, I know. No player error, I know. We can get rid of those for now. I don't think this has gotten any better. No, it hasn't. We can get rid of that for now. We can get rid of this for now, reluctantly, just because we don't have the money for that at all. Okay, I really do have to choose here, don't I? That's so, that's so much extra prestige. And so many good traits. And then if we went down Stalwart Leader for a bit, that would also give us 10 advantage when leading our troops. 15 because there are troops. And that would actually make us quite a good commander down the road. Tempting. Tempting. But we're no Kareem right now, so... And then scientific cultural fascination progress could be really good, admittedly. But I think we're going to steal from the Greeks. We don't have any wards. Learning per level of devotion is not bad. 20% of all counselor skills is insane. Scholar gives what again? Learning plus 5. Scheme success chances up. Development growth, cultural fascination progress. And then this makes us live longer, and this makes it easier to do our faith stuff. But really, we just need profit from this one. The rest are fine, but profit's the big one. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come I think I'm gonna come back to these later. And maybe we go for August first. Instead of Gallant. Because Kareem is just gonna be a better leader in, of our actual armies than us. I'm gonna do it. Committing. Majesty focus, let's hit it. Genius is gonna make us 30% faster at it. That's not a huge boost, but it's something. And then. He could give us 8% more of our monthly lifestyle experience if I paid him 0.2 gold a month. Worth. Yeah, advanced research. Do that. And then, Mogjean, you did an excellent job teaching me. Y'all did a great job. Now I can execute these people the way they should be executed. It still costs prestige? Oh, we're still in Regency right now. Just kidding. Hold up. Give it a sec. I'm no longer sharing power with Anamore. We are truly our own. Let's hold court. <laughs> Anamore, you're embarrassing. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Look at our eyes glow. Basically like the sun. That's crazy. We're a big dude. Not a giant, by any means. We're no Ode or Granicus, but we are still above average for sure. Approach. A frightful peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps between us. Ooh, she backs off with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your lordness, I'm coming here from Masalit with a matter of gray at the imports. Her eyes, eyebrows undulate. You see, King, our boyer has been carrying on with the bailiff's wife, sister's cousin, in the old village is in uproar. And this since seven moons back, or we're at eight, she strokes her chin. You don't say, please go on. You get common touch, but 80 stress because of arrogant. So, if you're also new to the channel, here's another thing. I'm going to play Menkare like I think Menkare would act, unless it's a terrible, terrible decision. So if there's stress loss because it goes against a personality trait, I will 99% of the time not choose that option. 
The only time I will purposefully go against someone's personality for a, a stress loss is if it is so amazingly a better option that it's, like, not even up for debate at all. So, we're not doing this. Steward Kugo, fix it, please. You're diligent. That's not a way to handle it, so he doesn't like that. You're a fool, my fool. Yuridice loses 10 opinion of you, becomes the jester, and the commoners were mocked for 10 years in Mausolite. What? How did this woman get in? Anyone? Highfalutin. Popular opinion down, vassal opinion up. I think this actually fits him. Yeah, this woman is nobody. Before the great Menkare? Yeah, how did this woman get in here? And vassal opinion is probably better than popular opinion for us. We deal with peasant rebels all the time. Alright. I'm gonna have him selected for YouTube's sake. One of my guards approaches with my champion, Wadon, in chains, trailing behind him. I caught Wadon in here in the process of sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Dar Salah. What should we do with her? You were a spy? You're worth nothing. A seven prowess champion? Off with her head, you gain 20 dread. Uh, it is, she is of evil faith, so it allows us to execute without being a tyrant. She's killed. All friends and lovers of Wadon lose 30 opinion. I forgive once, don't betray me again. No, I don't forgive once. Off with your head. You're not going to go against Menkare. We are going to be a dreadful ruler, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think I think that's already getting set in stone pretty well. My lord begins my martial chieftain, Kareem, my man. Look at those back and shoulder muscles. This guy's a Greek god. Oh my goodness, look at him. Jesus. It's almost disgusting how muscular his back and shoulder are. shoulders are. Look at that clean split. Golly. My lord begins my martial chieftain Kareem, looking very contrite. The last period has been really tough on my domain. Extra expenses were required on every front, and my coffers are sadly empty. It pains me to, but I resolve to appeal to your munificence for help in paying off my debts. I will not forget your generosity in my time of need. You're negative two, dude. You're gonna be alright. I'm greedy. Very well, but you will owe me. No, sorry, Minkari is greedy, so sorry, I have no money to spare. Minus 20 opinion. Wow, we were a bad person probably that whole time. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so fun to play as Minkari. <laughs> He's going to be great. Oh, I've been enjoying this a lot. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking amongst themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped away entirely, with the hum and bustle of normal courtly life taking its place. My business here is done. Six court grandeur and fifty legitimacy. Okay. It's a start. It's not where we need it to be. But it's a start. We need 88 more legitimacy just to get to rightful. But hey, recognized as something, right? <laughs> At least people recognize I'm the ruler and don't, like, immediately hate it. No, stop telling me that. Wow, we really do need champions. Especially since I just killed one of them. Too few spouses. I know I want more spouses. Oh, beautiful. 26. Uh, but I can't... Uh, but my first spouse is going to be my main one, right? Like... I want the first one to be one that really counts. You feel me? I'll, I'm gonna do before the next episode. I'm gonna I'm gonna search through people and see if I can find a character nearby that I can steal. I'm not kidding. I think that might be the play. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say, but it's true. Is McCurry at war again? Oh my goodness! For the county of Atbara, because Elodia is trying to make Nubia, but they're gonna run out of time. I think. I don't think that's happening. Meanwhile, we could take the Duchy of Mercuria. We can't, because they're currently trying to take this county from them. And Alpbar is part of it, I believe. Yeah, it is. That's a shame. That means we'd have to pick a fight with Elodia to go anywhere. Huh. And 3,000 is just a bit out of reach at the moment. Create more men at arms. We can do light horsemen. We don't have horsemen yet. We could also do light footmen to counter heavy infantry. What do these people have? Armored footmen, Nile archers, bowmen, and Nile archers. And they have Nile... Ar they love archers. So we need horses to counteract their archers for sure. 
I don't want to buy more than that because our prestige is finally starting to run a little low. But we're going to go with that for now. I can't believe they declared war for that county already. If I say we're conquering this duchy... We could go for the Duchy of Shamir instead and not indirectly engage with Elodia yet. That actually might be good. That would give that would leave this gap here, which is a little awkward, but that would let us hold off on Elodia. And this would get us to the Nile River. But no, this is the one we want. Let's be honest. And Menkare wants it. It's his promised territory. It's what belongs to him rightfully and his people. We are getting on the Nile River. We're going in. Declare war. Not a holy war. Calm down. To conquer the duchy of the petty kingdom of Mercuria. And that means Elodia will also be our enemies. That's ballsy. I wish I could just take these three. I wish this man would pass away. Real court grandeur is now at three. Really? Okay. Temporary court grandeur increase was enough. Whoa! Whoa. Holy warrior, 24, 21. Zealous, brave, and patient. He won't convert, though. Obviously. Oh, Ethiopic. We can definitely learn that. Are we still swaying, Mogjean? 31? That's fine. We'll start learning the language. Um, yeah, that's a crazy general. He's zealous, though, so trait getting him to convert his faith is going to be brutal to try to pull off. <laughs> They're crimes against fashion. That's funny. I don't have 40 gold to recruit this man anyway. Hopefully he sticks around for a bit. That's a qualified man right there. It's just, this is the land we should be taking. Look at that Nile River area versus this Nile River area. The worthy Ozolces Heinous may be appointed as strongest servant of the sun. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. He's craven. He's a coward. And he's nowhere near the strongest. But he is a champion. And we'll take a 12 prowess champion right now. We'll take almost any champion right now, to be honest. Sergio, 16 prowess and nothing else to him. Simple, straightforward, cheap, probably. 11 gold. Yeah. And he's in fine health because he's temperate, he's strong, aspiring blade master. He's got a lot of health boosts that'll help him live longer despite being 47. His kids are pretty meh, but alright. For 11 gold, I'll take a 16 prowess knight. Thank you much. They're arriving much quicker this time around. Whenever you're ready, Hive Chieftain Daid. They're fighting, and obviously they're going to win. Menkare is getting impatient. Luckily, none of his traits say literally impatient. So he's willing to wait the little bit of extra time to be able to take this territory without battling Elodia yet until this man passes away. We're just going to have to exercise just a mite more patience than we would have liked. Damn. We have great counselors. Great counselors. Fantastic counselors. Onamore will pay. When will we make him pay? My only concern being that nobody is going to be good at his job if I did it right now. Unless it just gives me another one randomly. Can I even imprison? I can't imprison him yet. I could imprison him right now. But it's an act of tyranny because we don't know he's a non-believer yet. It's not exposed. Oh, we lose a level of devotion too. Yikes. We definitely have to expose him first, without a doubt. I could raid Elodia while they're busy. <laughs> I definitely could. But we'll hold off on that. 
The ancient stone monument. A peasant, a peasant in Kimmer got lost recently while trekking near the wilderness. She came across a flat vertical stone surface where the ancient rulers of the region carved various images and symbols. After she reported this to the authorities, I sent in people to investigate, and it appears this stone might be the last remnants of an imposing ancient monument. The stone can't be reused, so it must stand where it is, perhaps for all eternity. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? For as long as any county in your domain has the ancient stone monument county modifier, you'll have access to the ancient stone monument examination activity to sate your own curiosity. Oh, ancient stone monuments might be a dime a dozen for some scholars, but there are some with which intrigue, which intrigue even those without scholarly inclinations. Inspiring the average person to admire and better understand it. Ancient stone monument for eight years. Development growth up. And we have a new activity we can do. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? Interesting. Where is this activity, you say? I'm not seeing the activity. I'm very curious to do it. I just don't see it. I don't know where that action would lie. Interesting, interesting. If I tried to murder him, what are the chances? 23%? Ah, he'll go on his own. <laughs> it was worth looking into, though. There's Makuria trying to go through my lands to get to their lands? What's going on here? Trying to avoid direct confrontation? What's happening here? Oh, man. Menkar and I are getting impatient. What the hell is that? You see that? What is that? Oh. Uh, hold up. Fast. Betrayal! Is that some cooing I hear and some muffled meows? Sat in an alcove is Zagoon, vast cradled in his arms. The feline looks up at him adoringly, limbs tucked in like a babe's, and the smitten Zigun rocks him lovingly. <laughs> Offer a greeting, but though the human responds, the cat merely purrs contentedly and burrows his face into a crook of an arm. Despite myself, I feel something of a pang of jealousy. Boy, give my cat here, giving us eight stress loss because we're arrogant, but ten opinion of Zigun. You gain cat rejection for five years, stress loss down. This character has discovered, much to their chagrin, that their cat prefers the company of others. 15 opinion of us. We have stress to lose, and I care more about me than 10 opinion of you. Give me my cat. Again, I'm gonna go with what our character would do if it's, like, close at all. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh, it, like, goes away, too. Is anywhere else doing that? There's this. It's like it's bleeding. Oh, my bad. Let me pause. Teru, another holy warrior, and she's not zealous, so she could actually probably be swayed. How cheap is she? 18? That's kind of pricey for what we get, to be honest. Oh, she's also a military engineer, though. Alright, I'll pay 18 for it. For her. For it. Whoa. Calm down. Demand conversion? 22%. That's tough. That is tough. Kushitic, we're gonna have to learn that at some point, yeah. Look at that. Um, It's like these areas are bleeding, but I can't figure out what it is. Interesting. Okay, well. Something's going on. They're bleeding. There you go. Capture these locations so you can get your war done. Oh, rest in peace your spouse. Sorry to hear about that. Kind of. This guy does not have a stat line. How is his military... How is he so strong? I mean, a lot of it is his allies, but look at that. Look at... If you pick a fight with this man... He's coming at you with almost 3,000. And that's not even including his allies. His allies bring another, like, 2,000 to the table, including mercenaries. Wow. They are so on up there, that's crazy. This war might be over extremely quickly. Yeah, we'll get one less county this way, but it's worth it in the long run, I feel. This almost took a whole year waiting for them to defeat our enemies. Court Cranger back down to two, that's a bummer. We don't get we don't get skill ups anymore when we age up, so we don't have to watch the age up. 
for um, all that good stuff. Come on. Knock it out. Get this war over with. Autumn Finish the convert faith task. Dude, he's killing that. Oh, we're running out of places to convert. I love it. East Starfer, please. Three years left. <clears throat> Attack and controls war targets. That's going to skew it as well. This should be the war right here. There it is. Alright, they can wrap their war up and then we can make our move on Makuria. 17 years of age. King Menkare of Amun Ra's Refuge. There it is. Neighbor's War Resolved. That still only gives him 11, correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If he gets one more county of Nubia, he can make a kingdom. And then Elodia is going to be a permanent problem. So we might even have to stop him from doing that if he doesn't die in time. Alright, McCurry, I know you just got dealt with your own thing, but I think we're here to take your duchy. To return to the Nile River, Menkare himself might lead the first, like, initiation here. And let Kareem take over right before battle joins, maybe? Let's go ahead and take on this duchy. We'll declare war. It's time. Next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 tours and tournaments. Menkare is an adult. He's a mastermind philosopher that's excellent. We're getting his legitimacy up. He's getting his majesty focused down to August. At least to writing history, but probably all the way to August. And then we'll probably flip over to Gallant for a few perks. And then we'll go learning from there. That's probably the plan. So thank you so much again. I can't wait. I'm going to see if I can find a character nearby to steal. <laughs> Sounds so bad. But we might have to do that. We'll see. And I'm going to try to figure out what this bleeding is. I don't know why these places are bleeding. <laughs> I don't know. Some kind of famine or plague maybe? Could be a plague. Could be a plague. Uh, Where was the plague tab? I don't know. I'll find that next time too. Thank you again so much. And I'll see all of you for the war against Makuria to return to the Nile River at last. I'll see all of you next time.